Are you an independent musician and having a tough time with creating these deeper connections on Instagram that you need to have fans that comment on everything, like on everything, and share everything that you put out? I understand, which is why I have some really cool tips and strategies that you guys can try out right now. So sit tight, don't move, and we'll go right over those things after the intro. See ya. You send me happy, throw me love upon you. But you love no sonic boom like I do. So I don't wanna kick a girl like I do. You say we have me shot in well like I do. You want to put it on the tango, yeah. But you want me mango, yeah. You would tell I'm a song, yeah. And nobody had the nonga, yeah. And you had the sonic boom, yeah. We were shaking the room, yeah. All right, guys, so it's me, the man, the myth, the legend. If you don't already know, my name is Kareem. I'm the CEO and lead industry coach for Hype Trilla, where we help independent musicians strategize uh, and come up with awesome tips that are going to help them succeed in the music business today. I'm here today to talk to you guys about some really cool, interesting things that you can do to engage people on Instagram or even the followers that you already have to becoming from that level of just a casual onlooker to a super fan who likes, comments, and shares everything that you post. But before I get into that, I just want to stick in my shameless plug just because it is something that's really helping you guys. If you aren't aware, I do have a free guide that's out right now. Again, free, completely, no cost to you. The link is in my bio if you're watching this video on Instagram. I will put a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube as well. It's the ultimate cheat sheet, the Kickstarter manual on how to succeed in the music biz. It's got over 20 plus tips for independent musicians. I can guarantee you that you will find some gems in there. Also, I'm still continuing my coaching calls, the one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I just wrapped a few up recently and everyone who's got off the calls have been completely excited and fired up for their next steps. If you'd like to get on a call with me, check out the link in my bio. That'll also guide you to my calendar that you can use to set up a session with me. So I highly encourage it. Now that all of that information's out of the way, we can get into the really cool tips that I have for you guys to get some really fired up followers. Okay, let's start with tip number one, which is always replying to your comments. I can't stress this enough. It's important for you to make every person who goes out of their way to leave you something thoughtful or encouraging under your post for you to come in and reciprocate that love. And when you do it, don't just come under the post and say thank you or I appreciate it. You want to provoke some type of conversation from the person who commented. Ask them a question. Get the conversation going. This creates a deeper connection with that follower. So what it ends up doing is later on, when you post something again, they're much more likely to comment again under that post because they know that they're actually gonna get a response back from the person that they sent positive vibes to. Now, number two is gonna involve leveraging new features that come out on Instagram or any other social media platform that you generally use. But in this case, we're talking about Instagram. So if a new feature comes out, um, the first thing that you really wanna think about is how can I leverage this for whatever specific intent or purpose that I have. The more that you train your mind to think about that for every new feature, which they're updating this app all the time. So the more that you train your mind to think about these new features uh, in ways that you can then incorporate them into your business model, the further ahead you'll be in this curve or this race to your end goal because you're now showing your audience something new and fresh for them to engage in and that's what you want and you want to make a great habit of doing that all the time all right so now we're going to talk about number three which is making sure that you repost anything that you get tagged or mentioned in especially if you just put a song out and a lot of people are um putting it in their story and tagging you or coming underneath your comments and leaving comments you want to make sure that you respond to this stuff in the way of 
reposting it to your story or what other platform that you generally use. Um, because what this does is it increases that validity that you have amongst people uh, that you're liked by other people. And sometimes, um, even though I don't necessarily agree with that, that's just what makes people gravitate towards other people or just other things in general. Once they see that a bunch of other people are engaged in it, it's to them almost like, well, if all these people are engaged in this, then this must be something good. Consider it like a little quick uh, re re review that someone is leaving you without having to really write something out. It's just them expressing their interest in whatever it is that you put out or whatever it is that you did. And you want to make sure that you um, show your fan base that people are actually gravitating to you. Now, the last thing that I have for you guys, and not least, of course, but is involving getting a little bit more creative with your captions. Um, I, I know that captions aren't a thing that we think too hard about, but I highly suggest you do a lot more research on how to utilize your captions effectively, even outside of this video, because if you use them uh, with a specific intent of getting a call to action, getting someone to actually do something, whether it be asking them a question or just saying something that's really thought provoking so that you can get those conversations going. You can get people to ask you stuff in your DMs or um, under the post or um, in your Instagram story. Um, you'll 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 see a huge return in that sense, um, because if you just use your caption for just like regular stuff, just to put like something quick and some corny emojis, like that might get you some engagement, but it's not going to get you anywhere near as much engagement as if you put something more thought provoking or something that actually will get people to spend more than a couple seconds on your post, which should be your number one goal every time you post something, not to just post it and then start thinking about the next thing. You want to post things with intention, not just because it's fitting for the time being. So those are my tips on how to turn your followers to really, 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 really super fans of yours. Um, I personally use all of those strategies. If you want to check me, go ahead and look at my Instagram and you'll see that everything that I'm telling you to do, I'm actually doing myself and it's working. Go figure. So I hope that this has been of some value to you. If it has, all I'm asking is that you share this, uh, provided a like, comment uh, on whichever platform you're watching this. Uh, keep in mind that I do have those coaching calls and it would be very advantageous to you to check out my free guide because it's got a lot of cool information uh, that you can get on demand whenever you need it. Uh, so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a great day.